Now I'm here with Tessie, Tessie Lee, um, that lives in Rathangan. She's lived in Rathangan all her life. Um, born and reared in New Street, Rathangan, and now living in Newtown, Newtown Rathangan, indeed. And that's where we're going to chat her about some Christmas, Christmas traditions, and we'll go from there. The pudding was made on the 8th of December. And oh, it was a big deal. You got a big, big aluminium saw a basin, and then uh, the pudding was made. But it was made right, they had the recipe and all the whole recipe and all. But then they did it in material, in like um, they made it in a pillowcase and they lined the pillowcase with butter and flour. And then they got um, when they tied it up, it was round. And they put dough, a bit of flour and butter into the knot of it, made up a dough and put it into the knot of it, that the water wouldn't get in. And then they, they boiled it for a long, long time. That was hung up on a, on a hook in the kitchen then. You know, when it was before for waiting for Christmas. Waiting for it, all right. Waiting okay. for Christmas. Good. But then they got very posh then and they started into a bowl. <laughs> And that's how the bowl started, because I suppose maybe it wouldn't be as nice a looking when it'd be done in a, a cloth. Right. Is that a recipe you know, you, you've you used down through the years oh, now? Always. always. And everybody did. Yes. And, and, pa and passed it on down through down generations. Down through the generations. Generations, you know, right. everywhere, you know. Well, that's great. And it's great to see people still making it. My own sister now would make, she takes it over in our family. And that's the same recipe. Yeah, well, I don't course. do it now because and I live on my own. And yeah. who would be eating it? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bad thing. <laughs> you know, um, when Christmas came, the nun sent up a beautiful big uh, slab cake. It would have been made in a roasting tin. Oh, it was the most beautiful cake. And a half a dozen of rosary beads. And the old man that lived with us worked on the land. He would get two pairs of wool socks every Christmas from the nuns. And it was just beautiful. But this was the nuns. That was, we didn't make a cake at Christmas. The nuns sent up this big cake at Christmas. All oh, right. Because uh, for the men that worked down below for them. You right, know? okay. So that was that. But we always made our pudding on the 8th of December. Right. And a, a neighbour, Connie, always came down that day. But our house was an open house anyway, you know. And there was eight of us in it. And there was always a, a farmer or something that would come in for dinner, you know, at dinner time, if because my father had a forge. Right. And the, so there was always, and always a bit of activity, I suppose. It was always. And when the dinner would uh, be cooked, if there was anyone out in the yard, they'd come in for the dinner too. 